While making models for 3D printing, most of the measurements can be made with a caliber. But measuring radius of rounded corners or the fillet is something that has required eyeballing it, test prints and hoping for the best. I designed my own radius gauge to solve the problem for me and here it is. It's made out of FR4 PCB material by the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com offers basic PCBs starting from just 5 US dollars for 10 pieces of 10 by 10 cm PCBs. Here are samples of some, but not all of the different color options available. If your project requires more advanced PCBs, 3D printed parts or CNC milled parts, don't worry, you can order from PCBWay.com as well. For all your prototyping and low volume production needs, go check out PCBWay.com for up-to-date information on their offering. I will first tell you how this kind of radio sketch works, then why I wanted one made out of PCB, and lastly, some designing tips if you are going to design your own radio sketch. This is a tool with circular cutouts along the edge, with numbers indicating the radius of the arc. To find the radius of a rounded corner or any round part, like this washer, you put the part against one of the arcs of the radius gauge and see how it fits. If the part touches the bottom of the arc, but there are gaps on the ends of the arc, the radius is smaller than that. You can also rock the part back and forth easily without lifting it from the gauge. If the part touches the ends of the arc and there is gap at the bottom, the radius is larger than that. When you find the correct radius, there won't be any gaps and you can feel the part firmly locking in place. Using this washer as an example, I think 6mm seems to fit perfectly. Radius of 6mm would mean the diameter is 12mm. And it's actually just shy of 12mm. The radius has only about 0.1mm difference to the radius I got with my radius gauge. This is made to measure outside radius. So I can measure for example this corner over here, but if I want to measure the inside radius, I can do that by placing the gauge over it and trying to see which one matches. The main use is for outside radius, but inside radius can be measured if it is located on the surface of the part. To utilize the extra space I had in the center of the gauge, I placed multiple holes with diameters matching some of the common bolt sizes. They are an easy and quick way of measuring bolts. That's something I thought would become useful, considering I'm planning on using one of these in the garage as well. In some environments where tape measure is used, this may be more useful or at least simpler tool than a caliper. Having these made out of PCB material was pretty much a no-brainer for me. First of all, there's the price. 5 US dollars for 10 pieces. That's 50 cents a piece. Shipping is added to that of course, but I was ordering PCBs anyway. FR4 PCBs are made out of fiberglass and epoxy. 1.6mm thick PCBs are quite strong and durable, and milling of the edges is smooth and accurate. Using these is comfortable, and I believe these will last very long time. I will add a link to the description or pinned comment where you can order these if you want this exact design. Designing one of these isn't too hard. I'm using Fusion 360 for my 3D designs, and I'm familiar with it. That's why I'm using its sketch tool to draw outlines for more complicated PCBs. But you may use other software that can export DXF or other design files that are supported by the PCB design software. In my case, I design board outline in Fusion 360 and export the sketch as DXF and open it in KiCad. When designing a radius gauge, basic idea is to draw a large circle, which is the main shape of the gauge. Then multiple smaller circles are placed to positions where they intersect with the larger one. Each smaller circle should have different radius. In my design I had circles with radii from 1 to 15 mm. And now this is important step. The angle that is formed by intersection points and the center of the smaller circle should be 90 degrees or less if the gauge will be used to measure right angle corners. 
the maximum angle of the corner is 180 degrees minus angle between those mentioned points. You can set the smaller circle's position to achieve that 90 degree angle by drawing a line from an intersection point to the center of the circle and another one from the center to second intersection point. Then press D to set dimension and click both lines. This will allow you to give the angle of those two lines. Make it 90 degrees and the distance between smaller and bigger circle should automatically adjust to conform to that dimension. There is a formula for calculating the distance of the circles to achieve this same thing, but I think this is easy enough. I hope this inspires you to think other out-of-the-box uses for cheap PCBs. See you in next video. Thanks. Bye.